Hi guys, this is ACK and I'm back with another video on Snow Break. Now in today's video, what I want to do is show you guys the two teams that I'm using and highly recommend. Now these two teams are some of the best teams in my opinion in the game, utilizing some of the most important units that you can find. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful and overall useful. If you guys are trying to figure out which teams to build, which characters to run, this video is going to serve as a guide. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, stay tuned for more content on Snow Break. If you guys don't want to miss out on future content on the game or future information i highly recommend you subscribe to the channel we are going to be getting a few informations regarding the next banner in a couple of days so if you guys don't want to you know miss out on that information i will be one of the few fir few first uh, content creators to make information on that so make sure you are subscribed so that you guys don't miss out on upcoming information on the game and if you guys find this video helpful and overall useful then go ahead and click the like button a bunch of you guys are watching my video but are not subscribed to the channel I, um, I just wanted to remind you guys that uh, I will, yeah, I will create a lot of um, Snowbreak content in the future. So anyways, let's carry on. So we do know limited or resources are limited. So you technically just want to build six characters initially. Sometimes you can build four characters and like switch it out a little bit. Um, but I would say six characters is the maximum. However, since I am a content creator and I wanted to test out a few other characters, I did slightly build over six and I build over to like uh, eight characters so that I can test out a couple of characters. So um, just shows that I have been trying to work on certain characters and uh, just to figure out which characters are useful. Now there's two teams, I sometimes do switch out one particular character because one unit is usually like flex unit, but it doesn't really matter. So let me go ahead and show you guys the two teams. The best way to do it is go into operations, actually no, go into dispatch and the underground purge. Now this is the two teams I will be talking about in today's video. So the first team I would like to call the frost team. The second team is what I would like to call the lightning team. However, the, the second team isn't really a mono lightning team. And the first team isn't really mono frost team since um, the foresight Yao isn't really a frost character. But since she is rocking a frost weapon, I'm just going to call this the frost team. And the one on the right, I can actually switch out certain characters. But let me just go ahead and just talk about each individual team. So the first team is focusing more on freezing. And there isn't really like a main damage dealer that I'm currently using in that team. So I, I basically switch between my Kaguya and Wild Aunt whenever I, I require the skills. Whenever the skills on cooldown and whatnot, I just switch into them. I feel like both characters can be main as like your main damage dealer or your supportive characters. But uh, yeah, I do love using the AoE or using the ultimate from Akasha Kaguya because it groups them up and you're able to do a huge amount of AoE damage. With um, Life, I love her support skill, able to freeze and I also like um, like her standard skill as well. So I'm going to be showing you guys gameplay, showing how I utilize it. But I mainly use Kaguya initially just to deal a bunch, bunch of damage. Then I switch over to my uh, support. Well, then I use the supportive skill for life. And as you can see, I do have a healer in each individual team. So the healer on the first team is going to be Yao. And she is going to be the best healer in the entire game. So definitely go ahead and build her up. So she is the main healer in this team. And I do think you need a healer for this team because um Kaguya, you need to be up close to the enemy if you want to use her uh, standard skill and that actually exposes her to a lot of damage um you also want to sometimes use light um Kaguya's um what's it called support skill as well just to get a damage reduction so um yeah that's also what I would recommend so in terms of uh, Kasha Kaguya this is my current build now I'm going to be switching this up a bit so the logistic I'm currently using isn't what you want to be using on her or isn't what I want to be using on her simply because now this is a frosting I'm going to be using life as well now I basically want to go ahead and get this logistics instead since I will be able to further decrease the target's resistance of this type of damage and since life is also a frost character this is going to help my characters deal overall damage now i also want to get the this weapon over here for akasha so i'm currently waiting for this to be added into the store so i can go ahead and buy this frost weapon and uh, the skills are over here so if i do get this weapon i probably will not now need to main uh, life as my main damage dealer and switch into kaguya whenever i need where i require uh ability to break like shield or whatever um now this team also has another shield breaker or technically the main shield breaker which is yao she is a sniper character she will be able to break the shields a lot more faster and that is essentially our prioritize this team and the second team is going to be my lightning team and obviously fenny is my main damage dealer my healer 
and sometimes my crowd control character is going to be Shang Xing. And then for a little bit of buff, I used Fracture. So I'm using her support skill, which is basically this. Fracture knocks surrounding enemies uh, up into the air, dealing thermal damage and provide aptitude effect to the deployed operative based on Fracture's attack attribute. Shots will deal additional thermal damage for 10 seconds. Now, like I said, I do sometimes switch um, the characters in this particular team, not the first team. The second team is where I actually switch out character. However, what I would actually rather do is go ahead and use the four star uh, Akasha instead, simply because I have the ability to slow. So she has the ability to slow targets with this ability. And she also has the ability to um, throw a bunch of shurikens technically. And then her ultimate is basically able to do a huge slow domain, which is absolutely amazing if you are worried about being crowded over. So that is my team. Technically, this is how I run my team. The main one, I don't really switch any characters out. The second one is where I start switching out certain characters depending on what I require and uh, what not. Now, when I'm running actual boss content, so gink, no, get a link, go over to dispatch, neural simulation. My favorite team is always this team over here. So technically my main team for the, like clearing neural simulation would be this one. Then if I was to build a second team, it would be, um, Sometimes I use Yao since I'm just going to be you know, breaking down a bit, breaking down the uh, enemy's uh, shield. So I'm, I use Fried Shot and then the third character, I need a healer. So that's when I use Shang Xing. So there we go. I only use Yao when I'm going against a boss since Yao is a single target character. Sometimes you need AoE since the enemies kind of crowd over you. So I don't use life instead. Um, sometimes I will actually go into, actually I think, yeah. I can actually switch out this four star and put life since she has the ability to freeze which is actually very very useful so any ability to slow the enemy stop the enemies in the track is always going to be worth using so i used um, a akasha for that the ability to slow definitely worth using and then if i wanted to use a second team for the other bosses what i would go ahead and do is run a team not like this actually i would put yao instead uh, can I switch Yao in front? There we go. I would basically use this team. So when I need life supporter skills to freeze the enemy, I would use it. And when I need fracture supporter skill for um, to boost the damage for um, Yao, I would go ahead and use it. So this two neural skill will be effective for that. Actually, no, the second one in particular would be effective for that. So this could be another team I'll go ahead and use. However, this is a team that has no healer. So you technically don't want to mess up. If you mess up, you have to start all over again. Now, if you're worried about messing up, then I guess you could take out, no, because you want to use the ultimate skill for Fracture as well. Um, I guess you could take off life instead and put in Sheng Sheng for the healing. Um, instead of uh, freezing instead and then you can use fighters for two reasons um, the supporter skill as well as the ultimate ability and uh, yeah you can actually switch out a couple of characters as well but this is what I usually do but uh, like I said my main team is usually this one I flipping love Fenny Fenny is definitely the best five star character in my opinion um, low investment required for her to be absolutely insane um, like I said, I could switch out this four star character for life instead and uh, yeah, use the freezing. But uh, yeah, that's how I go ahead and cheese um, level 900, no, level 90, sorry, of each individual bosses. Uh, I don't think I did 900, 90 for this one. I could go ahead and do this pretty soon as well. Or well, actually, I could do this now, but I'm just gonna, it's gonna take me a while to do it. So if you guys have noticed, I rarely actually use Yao because Yao is a character that is going to you know, be used against bosses or uh, stages where you can hide and position yourself appropriately. However, many content doesn't allow that. So it's sometimes very hard to use Yao. So she's actually my least used five star character in the game. The main one I use is Fenny. Now that I have um, life, she's going to be my second main one, but it usually is uh, Kaguya Kashia and then I'll use life as well and then I'll use other four star character before I decide to use Yao except if I'm going into co-op where the enemy does have like a huge amount of HP you can buff up Yao single target ability and especially if you're going into Giga Link and you're fighting against this particular boss let me go ahead and show you so if you're fighting against Hela 
you all you have to do it with using Yao is just aim for the head and uh, the amount of damage she does is insane so that's when I start using Yao only in co-op to be honest but uh, yeah that's what I wanted to talk about in today's video I've showed you guys my two main teams that I'm currently running tell me down in the comment section if you guys are running a similar team tell me down in the comment section your own team comp right now and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more content on snow break it's been your boy AC Gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm out